This is about phrasal verbs. <clears throat> phrasal verbs, as you can see, is a verb plus a preposition. There's several listed up here. Uh, I won't go over all of them, but I, what I want to do here is explain why we use phrasal verbs and how they cannot be really translated into Spanish, but they have a definite meaning in English. And you need to learn the meaning of these phrasal verbs in order to be able to understand Americans because we use a, a lot of phrasal verbs. It's sort of a lazy way of speaking, but it's something that we do. So let's take a look at the sentence here. Mandela has always been after the respect for black people's rights. And here we use always been after. Now that doesn't make any sense, does it? In, in, uh, in Spanish, essentially, you use the word Mandela está detrás, okay? It doesn't mean much sense. So what you do in Spanish, you use the word luchar, which is simply means to struggle, uh, to search for uh, the respect of the blacks. And uh, if we take a look at that in, uh, in the translation, I will give you that. Medela has always fought for the rights of blacks to be respected. Now that's okay. That's an okay English sentence, uh, but we didn't use thought for, okay? There's nothing wrong with that sentence. That's formal English. The phrasal verb is essentially called informal English, and generally that is the English that we usually speak. So it's very important that you learn the phrasal verbs because in order to really understand uh, American speech, even British speech, they use the same phrasal verbs. You need to know the phrasal verbs. You need to regard them as part of your vocabulary. It's generally not taught, at least in Mexico, phrasal verbs because you learn formal English only but you do not learn, uh, what well, I'm assuming, you do not learn uh, informal English. But the informal English needs to be understood the same as formal English. So I will present uh, many of the phrasal verbs to you so that you will be able to understand American English as it is spoken by most people. And I talk by most people, any class of people, from college professors down to uh, the man in the street, uh, the uneducated, okay? From the very educated to the uneducated. That's my explanation. So let's study phrasal verbs.